Okay, today we're going to do a quick training on creating libraries with Dreamweaver. Um, so you're in your web page, and I'm just using a sample page from my site. Um, anyways, you can just, this is the way that I create it. I create the page first, then I create the library. And you can just type, say you want your library to be your left navigation options. That would make sense. These could be things that would change often. That's what I use a library for. Something that you want to update and you want it to update all of your pages without going into each individual page. So for example, I'm just going to type home and I'm just going to type about and I'm just going to type training and I'm just going to type websites. Okay, so I have these four um, options of text here and these are going to be my left navigation and you know what, I might as well show you linking while I'm at it. My little pop-up keeps coming here. Um, it, linking in Dreamweaver is so easy. If I select home and I want to link it to one of my files in my files panel, all I'm going to do is grab this little point to file tool and I'm just going to drag it to the file that I want to uh, link to. In this case, I'll just drag it to my Adobe Photoshop.html file, let go, and then this now becomes a link. It didn't turn blue because I do have a style applied to it. That's okay. Um, Okay, so anyways, back to the libraries. I'm going to highlight all of these items that I want to be in a library. And I'm going to go up to Modify. And I'm going to select Library. And I'm going to select Add Object to Library. Okay, now you'll see over on your Files panel, a little panel opened up called Assets. Um, I do have more libraries in here. These are all libraries. I'm going to name this Untitled One Sample. And when I get done, you'll notice that in my page, all this text now turned yellow, and I have a little icon up here. That's my library icon. I just lost it. There we go. This little icon up here is my library icon. And that just shows me that this text here in yellow is a library. It's not actually, actually yellow. It's just showing up like that on my design view. Now, if I have a new page, I'll just go and create a new page real quick. And I want that library item to be on this page. All I have to do, I think you have to save it first. So I'm just going to save it as library sample. Okay. All you have to do is over in your assets panel, find that library and drag it into that page. And there it is. Now, if I need to then go and update that that library on every page on both of these page library sample and Photoshop HTML say I want to add a contact us link I'm going to save all this all I have to do then is go into my assets panel it's right beside files if you don't see it open go to window and open it there I'm going to open that library double click on it and there is where I can actually make changes. Home, about, let's type in contact. Contact. Okay, and then I'm going to do a save all. It's going to ask me if I want to update these two files and I'm going to say update. It'll go through and it'll tell me two files, files examined and files updated. I'm going to close that. I'm going to do another save all because since it updated these two pages, I now have my little asterisk here telling me they're not saved because changes have been made to them. So I just get in the habit of doing another save all. Then if I click over to that page, you'll notice now that it says home, about, contact is added in there on both of these pages. There's my contact added in there. Um, you can't make changes here. If I click this, it all highlights, so I can't add text here. So you have to actually go into the library to make any changes. One word of caution if you create your page then create your library is that um, if you, you can select a whole table or a whole div tag to be a library. If I were to select a whole div tag over here and created that to be a library and then I then I went over and added that to my new page which already had a div tag that's then going to create a tag or a table inside of my tag or table. So instead of having one, I would then have two. So it just takes some planning, um, but that's just your basics on creating a library. 
And with these tutorials, as usual, if anyone has something specific in Dreamweaver they would like to know, um, send me an email. Contact me through my website at kperspectives.com, and I'll see if I can accommodate that. Thank you so much for joining me.